Another summer was coming to its end. Another Berlin Marathon was about to start. For the second time this year, I was starting a marathon with the goal of crushing my personal best. It's a very reachable goal. My PB is two years old and set on a slightly hilly course. Berlin has the flattest and fastest marathon of them all. The last six world records were set here. And somewhere in the distance, the professional athletes set out in search of a seventh one. They were almost two kilometers down the road when I crossed the starting line about five minutes later. 30,000 more runners would follow in the next half an hour. The scale of this event is mind-boggling. The start went perfectly. When I passed the iconic Siegesäule less than a kilometer in, I was already comfortable in my rhythm. Race pace felt perfectly natural. Although I did not realize it at the time, the decisive moment came at kilometer 9. At first sight, it was a perfectly choreographed run through an aid station. The sun was starting to show its power, so you grab something to drink, dunk your cap in a water basin, take a piece of banana, and carry on. Little did I know that that banana would pick a fight with my stomach. I could barely eat anything for the rest of the race. And for a good while I couldn't even stand the isotonic drinks. On a ration of just water, my energy reserves were dwindling fast. Muscles can burn both carbohydrates and fat. Carbs burn fast and hot, but the tank isn't very big. Fat, on the other hand, is available in huge quantities, but burning it is a slow process. So you can guess what happens when you run out of carbs and your muscles have to switch to fats. It's called hitting the wall. Shortly after the halfway point, I started slowing down. I was still far from actually hitting the wall, but it had become clear to me that there was no escaping it. I'd like to say that a change in pace was a conscious decision to save energy. But in truth, it was mostly the feeling of impending doom that took away my motivation and slowed me down. Knowing that I would undoubtedly hit the wall long before the finish is one of the most frustrating feelings I've ever had while running. If you know it's coming, you don't hit the wall, really. You gently snuggle up to it. It's not as sudden, but it slows you down just as much. And that's what happened with about 10 kilometers to go. 42 kilometers, the Brandenburger Tor. Exhaustion, euphoria. But this time more of the first and less of the second. In the end, my time wasn't even that bad. About five minutes above my personal best but I wasn't able to enjoy it. Frustrated to have missed my goal for the second time this year. Even more frustrated because I know that it is a reachable goal. The pace I ran in the first half was on schedule to beat my PB by more than five minutes. And it felt so natural that I'm convinced that I would have been able to keep it up under normal circumstances. I hate bananas.